what we're going to do now is to take maybe five minutes of questions around the three presentations. Uh, we were supposed to get into some ref reflection after this, but I think we'll do that after the tea break. So is there any, some questions around either Shirley, um, I'm sorry, Heidi or Miriam's presentation? It's not a very big question. Just the student sabbaticals, what's the time frame that they give for students to go on that kind of sabbatical? In other words, how long do they get to, to stop out? They don't exist. We're making them. Yeah, the, uh, what I'm saying is we're making it up. We're, we're creating a new idea. Any other questions? Hi, um, I just had a question about your disabled, the 25%. I'm working currently with uh, the deaf. Uh, we're developing uh, specific programs for the deaf. So I'd like to know how many, what is the percentage of deaf and how do you support the deaf? Um, oops, coming from every angle. Coming from every angle. Um, I don't, I'm really sorry, I can't tell you. I can find out for you in the break. Um, I can probably tell you exactly <coughs> what percentage. Um, in terms of support, huh, we have a wonderful um, old government, I hope, um, which has just withdrawn something called the Disabled Students Allowance. And the Disabled Students Allowance enabled each disabled student to have a signer if they needed them and other kinds of support. The government has just taken the money away. Because it's cutting benefits of every kind. Thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. I'd like to uh, thank all the presenters. I think I really enjoyed your presentations. Particularly, thank you to Shirley, too. I'm very, very grateful that. The two questions I have is one to the, uh, the Sakwa presenter. Uh, firstly, to ask, um, in the, for the duration of the project, uh, we're sitting with the elephant in the room also with regards to implementing the National Development Plan. And I would like to know how uh, SACWA uh, engaged with the National Development Plan in terms of its implementation, especially in terms of what's written. Um, I, I don't know. I. Um, I've done a class exercise in my policy class with fourth year students and they did a presentation on, on some of it and had certain questions so I, I, I would like them to um, answer if, um, if there were any engagement and, and how are we going to be taken forward in terms of that. And then to the last presenter, in terms of your uh, perfect experience, I'm a lecturer in social work, and um, I think at the time when, when um, I was a student in this, at this university, in that social work department, I think we had uh, a social work presented at, as a part-time um, qualification, and then the university took a position to only do it full-time. And of course, uh, times have changed. There has been a demand for it to be pre present, um, to be offered differently, and there are distance universities who still do it. But I'd like to ask some of the challenges that you experienced. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, SACWA is responsible for um, overseeing the implementation and further development of the NQF. So we primarily governed by the NQF Act 67 of 2008. And that act is located in a policy basket. And so everything we do is aligned with the other act in the policy basket. And the main acts in the policy basket are the, well not acts, they initiatives if you like as well. Um, the National Development Plan, the New Growth the New Growth Path, the HRDS, the Human Resource Development Strategy, and the, the White Paper for Post-School Education and Training. 
So we wouldn't do any of our work that wasn't completely aligned with those things. Does that answer? I'd like to know what are your critical challenges in uh, bringing that uh, What we're doing now, we do um, an impact study of the NQF, not at regular intervals, it's quite spread out. But we looked at how, what, what have we achieved or what impact has the NQF had in relation to, to all those acts and, and initiatives that I mentioned. So it's a, a backwards look, if you like. Yeah, we didn't make. But then also, SACWA's work is cross-cutting. So we never dip into, but this is slightly off your question, but I think it's related. We, we don't work within higher education or within ECD. We work across the system. And one of the things, I mean, I got, I saw data for ECD, for example, <coughs> that you mentioned. And it seems that we're slowly moving towards universal enrollment. So, well, we're not there yet, but it's just a small side thing. My, my particular uh, concern I, uh, is in terms of the kind of research questions that are now emerge around the reprioritization. Is ECG is such a sector that cuts across in terms of the needs there. Mm. It cuts across adult learning. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I didn't get a particular sense that that is is, is very uh, you know approaching a very integrated way in, in, in the NDP. And I really think we should critically engage. Yeah. Well, I'm happy that you are actually talking about this as well. But from the impact study now. We it looked at all the sectors, the trends, in terms of access, progression, and so on. And there's a long story about connecting that to the NQF because it's such a, a multiple object. You know, there's so many initiatives that so it's difficult to say things are direct cause and effect, you know, the NQF act there for this. But nevertheless, we looked at all the trends associated with all our NQF initiatives over the last 20 years. And so what we found in, in some cases, like ECD, is that the trend is going in the direction we want it to go. So we know which trends are going in the direction we want to go, and other trends fluctuate, and others are going in the wrong direction. So we can at least monitor and put you know, initiatives in place to deal with them. 